1.9. This is amazing. Means this voltage regulator is serviceable. Have you ever seen this teeny three pin component on motherboards or power supplies? Today, I'll show you how to test the LDO voltage regulators using two methods for the first time. The first method by applying the voltage to the input of the voltage regulator and check the output. And the second method by using just the multimeter, exactly the diode mode. And of course, I'll show you how to know instantly if it is dead or alive. So guys, welcome to the episode number 34 where you gonna master voltage regulators testing. Okay, so let's begin with the theory part. Of course, as always, all my videos are divided in two parts, a theory part and a practical part. Of course, we gonna begin with the theory part and then move on after to the practical part where I'm going to show you how to test the voltage regulators using live volt and using the multimeter. And by the way, for anyone who want to accelerate learning and for more unique content and free schematic download, you can join me in my Patreon page, all links in the description. So this voltage regulator basically that we study today is LD1117. This is a low dropout voltage regulator we called it LDO. So basically here, if you pay attention guys, do you see we have three pins. This pin here, the pin number one, do you see connected to this wide area here, means here this is the ground. And once this pin here is connected to the ceramic capacitor, do you see connected to the ceramic capacitors, means this is the input because we have here the capacitor, that filter, the input voltage and here basically this is the output so ground output input the proof the ground always will find the wide area the input always connected to capacitor and also here we have resistor as you can see and we have the output so how this voltage regulator works basically it takes a higher input voltage and regulates it to a stable low voltage commonly 3.3 volt 1.8 volt but for this one we will get 1.8 volt in the output i'll show you how just stay tuned we will apply 5 volt to the input and we will get here 1.8 volt because this kind of voltage regulator with this reference 1117 convert 5 volt to 1.8 volt but always the same working principle for all voltage regulators we have here another motherboard with another voltage regulator this one do you see guys i can detect the pin out without the schematic without anything do you see here we have a wide area means the pin that is connected to this wide area here is the ground here we have the ground and even here we have the capacitor we have here the negative terminal of the capacitor connected to this one means this is the ground and this one here if you pay attention connected to this capacitor here to the positive terminal do you see means this is the input and here we have the, out the output just stay tuned you gonna understand everything so here if you pay attention we have here a18 a18 basically marking indicates 1.8 volt means this is a 1.8 volts output we gonna check when we reach the practical part so to summarize the function for this voltage regulator it powers sensitive ic's such as cpu gpu ram BIOS chip or logic controllers. Very important purpose. And don't forget also that this voltage regulator reduces the noise and keeps voltage stable and protects circuits from fluctuation. 
Okay, the last question before moving to testing. Let's see applications. What are the applications where this kind of voltage regulators are used? So you can find it in laptop, desktop motherboards, power supplies, adapters, routers, C-top boxes, TVs, by, by the way, this is a TV motherboard, and without it, devices won't boot, will restart randomly, or ICs might burn. So now we reach the most important part that everyone waiting for, how to test it. I'm going to show you how to test it using two methods. The first method by applying the voltage and by using a 5 volt adapter with the multimeter to check the input and the output. The second method by using just the multimeter and by selecting the diode mode. So let's begin with the first method by using a 5 volt adapter. So here we have as output 5 volt 2 amps. And of course we have two wires the positive wire and the negative wire. So basically, I'm going to connect the negative wire to the ground here and the positive wire to the input here, to this capacitor or to this resistor. And here I have to get 1.8 volt based on this reference. A18 means a 1.8 volt output voltage regulator. So let's do it right now. So once the first pin or the ground pin is connected to this terminal here, to this point here, I will connect the black probe in this point. Good. The black wire is connected perfectly. Now we will connect the red probe to the input because this terminal connected to the serum capacitors, but I will avoid to connect it here, and I will connect it here in this point. As you can see, that is connected to the resistor, because this terminal here connected also to this terminal. Do you see the same path? So let's do it. Done. As you can see, connected perfectly. Now, let me plug the adapter. The adapter is plugged. Let's set the multimeter to the DC voltage. Let's select 20 volt in the multimeter. And let's find out. Okay, if I put the black probe here in the ground, okay, and the red probe in the input, we have 5 volt. Okay, the 5 volt is applied to the voltage regulator correctly what about the output let's check we have to find 1.8 volts 1.9 this is amazing means this voltage regulator is serviceable we have 5 volt in the input and we have 1.9 in the output means this is a good voltage regulator now let's pass to the second test using just the multimeter and test the serviceability of this voltage regulator without using the voltage and using just the, the multimeter. Let's do it right now. Okay, now let's use the multimeter and test the voltage regulator. Of course, we're gonna select the diode mode. Very simple. We have just to put the black probe here in the ground and put the red probe once in pin number two and once in pin number three but the rule here is the reading here in pin number two we have about 320 will be less than the reading here in pin number three do you see about 370 means the voltage regulator is good if you get any short zero or up line the regulator might be dead here is some common failures and highlights. Overheating due to poor cooling. Short circuits pulling down output. So for the symptom, motherboard not powering, stuck at logo, no RAM detection or BIOS issues. Here is some tips and tricks. 
always check both input and output before replacing. If your voltage regulator burns repeatedly, suspect a shortage capacitor or IC on the output reel. Use freeze spray or thermal camera to detect shorts. Cheap regulators may fail often. Replace with original quality parts. So now you know how to test the LD1170 regulator with just a multimeter and by applying a voltage of 5 volts by using a 5 volt adapter. Understand its working principle and catch common failures before they damage the board further. By the way, you can join my Patreon page for more unique content and free schematic downloads. Link is in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to support the channel. Thank you very much, and see you with another component.